Yo, John, what's going on, my man? How are you? What do you mean I got sacked? I swear I told you to, sh- to send them my resignation letter. Well, you know, they were quite excited to get rid of you, so they beat me to it. Look at it this way. You get severance pay, and you can go on holiday whilst we find you a new job. Okay, so how much am I getting? Uh, around £450. Well, that's great. Where am I going on this holiday? Jamaica? The Caribbean? No. For that much, I'm probably going Barry Bloomin' Island. Hey, hey, hey. Don't diss Barry Island. And no, I've set you up with a couple of weeks at Butlin's Skegness. Don't worry. If they give you a red coat when you get there, that's um, complimentary. Well, great. I look forward to that amazing trip. Suppose I better get packing. Sooner you find me a new job, the better. Yeah, I'm getting on that right now. Enjoy Skegness. Oh, finally, you've answered. I've been trying to get hold of you for days. Bees have had me on stage doing panto three times a day. You didn't tell me about that now, did you? Anyway, what's going on with a job hunt? Don't worry about it. I've got you an interview at Dundalk in Ireland and a few other clubs. Alright, Ireland sounds good. Not far from home. Can see the family more often. Could get players from England to come join us. Let's try and make sure I get that one, yeah? I'll send you the details now for the interviews. Make sure you don't screw this up. Trust me, I won't. I'll smash it. I promise you. I'm great at interviews, me. Thank God I got you. You're not enjoying the panto too much, are you? I think you know I'm not, didn't you? Well, that's good, because now it's behind you. Yeah, that's right. I've got you a job. Brilliant. That's amazing. Please tell me that it's the bloody Dundalk job. Please send me the contract now to sign. I need to get out of here. Don't worry about signing it. I've already done that for you. What do you mean? Please tell me what you've done. I mean, I signed it for you. Hmm. I'm not going to Ireland, am I? Why am I got a feeling I'm not going to Ireland? No, no, you're going somewhere better. You're going to Mexico to manage CT Tapiato. Um, what? You know I don't like Mexican food. Or speak the language. Or even like those big hats they wear. What am I going to do in Mexico? Manage the football team is what you'll do. And you'll start in five days. So pack your bags. I've got a really good deal on flights. The only thing is, you'll be changing flights about six times. Good luck. Okay. Okay, well, suppose I better get packing again. Because, once again, we are on the move. On Homeless to Hero, we're going to Mexico. <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. This is Homeless to Hero, my worldwide journeyman save where I am playing with no attributes. Absolutely no attributes. I can't look at player attributes, staff attributes, anything like that. Cannot look at it. And so we have got a brand new team today. We are in Mexico with CD Tapateo. We are in the second league in Mexico. And I have got a story and a half to tell you about how we've ended up here. We're going to go through that. We're going to have a look around the squad because we're in between seasons. So we can see how they got on last year. We're not going to have a game today because we're six weeks away from our first game in charge of the club. So I just want to do this as like an introduction to Mexico, a kind of just look around the squad, see what we're dealing with, see what we're working with. So that is what we're doing. And so first things first, the story, 
the story all oh my days you all saw what happened at the end of the last video in this series i resigned i resigned from coca-cola fc you all saw it but somehow after that steam had some kind of cloud issue and it lost me that particular save file and the closest one i had before that was a whole six months before that. So it was back in like January of 2022. So yeah, I wasn't going to play those six months again. Because it takes forever on this save. Because I've got every league in the world loaded. So yeah, that was interesting. So I holidayed forward six months. And instead of being able to resign this time, I got sacked after the last game of the season so yeah that was fun but then even after that it got even weirder because you saw in the intro that i was up for the dundalk job in ireland and in fact i had pretty much agreed a contract but i chose to delay it for a week just to see if there was anything else coming up and somehow while i was on holiday I accepted this job. Don't ask me how. The game was all processing, all simulating. I never pressed accept job. So I'm guessing my agent did it because they wanted me to get into Mexico for some reason. So here I am. And so that is the story of how, we, how we've ended up here. And now looking at the club. First things first. Check out these beautiful kits I've got here. These have all been done by FM Custom Kits. They are part of his brand new 4K collection, I guess you call it. It cost me £7.50 to get these done. And I think you can say very, very much worth it. I'll put a link down below to his Twitter and his website so you can get some for yourself. I especially like this this away one. I think the away one is very beautiful. They're all very, very good. I'll flash them up in the edit in big so you can see just how nice they are. And you can see that as well. In the collar, you can put a little phrase on these kits. So I've got one in there. And so, yeah, I'll show you that in the edit and you will see just how gorgeous these are. £7.50, very very well spent and so into the club you can see here i am the manager and if we go to my contract actually you will see i've got a massive pay rise from the last job with coca-cola fc i'm now being paid three thousand eight hundred pound a week and also as well the one thing i have done is i've asked the board for a new coaching course as soon as I've got here and they've said yes so we are going to be studying for the national A license so if we can get that in a few months that would be very very nice and so let's have a look and see who are the key players and the captain and all that for this squad so you can see the captain is a fella by the name of Carlos Zamora. Being a West Ham fan, someone called Zamora is a very good start. And so he is a 26-year-old left-back but can play centre-back as well. Only valued at 550 quid, And he's on a £220 a week uh, contract. And so you can see that from what we can see of his attributes... He's got decent heading, decent marking, decent tackling. He's very determined, which is good for a captain. I do very much like that. And he's six foot and he's 81 kilograms. I'm rubbish at kilograms. Someone tell me what that is in pounds, please. In fact, I'm going to change that after this video so I can see. I can see what it is. Not sure why it's gone back to that, but oh well. So yeah, Carlos Zamora is our captain. And you can see there that he's played... Oh, let's go back. So you can see he played 15 games last season. Got an average rating of 6.79. Not the best, 
but not the worst either. Well, actually, how does that work? Because, no, he's played more than 15 games there. Okay, so he's played 13, 23, 26, 28. 28 games he's played. And so, yeah, he's got around a 6.7, 6.8 average rating. So, not bad, not terrible. We might, I think we are going to be using him. So, we'll see how we get on with him. And our key player is someone called Alejandro Mayorga. He's a 25-year-old left-back again. So apparently we're very strong at left-back. So we might be playing Zamora at centre-back. But we got good marking, good tackling, or decent marking and tackling, sorry I should say. He looks very decent in a lot of areas. So yeah, I'm very happy with him. And our hot prospect is someone called Zahid Munoz. I think that's how you say it. He's a 21-year-old left winger, only valued at 5.75k, but he's on a £1,000 a week contract. Oh, that's a lot of money. Even for this level, I think that's a lot of money. And so, yeah, he's got decent acceleration, decent pace, decent crossing, decent flair. Let's have a look at his coach report. And uh, can, I, can I change that screen? No, I can't. All right, then. So, he's got balanced and normal personality. Possesses a fair amount of pace. He's performed okay in training. There's nothing really that special about him. And he's not very determined. I'll have a look over the summer. See how he does in friendlies. But... He could be one we look to get rid of. And now let's go and have a look on the squad screen and we'll see who did the best last season. Okay, so out of everyone who's played a decent amount of games, Edson Torres is someone who did the best. He got 7.21. I'm guessing that's just for the closing stage. So I think they do it separately. I think that's what I'm getting at here. And so, yeah, yeah, so he got a 7.26 in the Mexican Expansion League. Okay, why is it different? Oh, okay, so the 25 and 1 is the overall. So he got 7.26 from the right wing, 6 goals, 6 assists. That's actually quite decent, and he's only 23. He's someone who might get better. He's someone who I might be, be excited to work with. But he wants to leave. I'm going to talk to him about that. I'm going to talk him into staying. Although, having said that, doesn't feel comfortable playing in big matches. Hmm. Okay. Going to have to have a think about that. And so, just below him is Kevin Magana. Although, I think he's played his games away, away from the club, has he? Yeah, he has. He's been playing in the same league as us, but on loan. And he's got a 7.16 from 34 appearances. And he's a left winger by the looks of it. Yeah, 24 years old. He's valued at 11.5k. Yeah, he looks, he looks all right. Who else do we want to have a look at? Who scored the most goals? Seven. Seven goals is our top scorer. That's something we need to be looking at. That's something we need to be trying to improve, I think. Sebastian Martinez is one of the guys who got seven goals. And let's have a look at his coach report. He's got decent acceleration, balanced personality. And so, yeah, again, nothing that exciting. Might have a bit of work to do here, boys and girls. And so if we are going to be wanting to bring anybody in, we have got three grand in the bank. In the wage budget. So we've got a little bit of money to spend. To hopefully bring in a few players. And so. One more thing I want to talk about. Is the league. Because as you've probably noticed. The league is in two stages. So if I can go on this screen. And then go there. You can see. That in the Mexican Expansion League. We finished third. In the opening stage. And we finished third as well in the closing stage. 
So we're not a bad team. For a second division in Mexico, we're all right. And actually, how does one get promoted? Does one get promoted? I've literally just thought about that. What if we can't get promoted? Someone who knows anything about Mexico, tell me down below. Can teams get promoted? Is there promotion and relegation? Because I'm starting now to get worried that there might not be. Ooh. Has my agent really proper stuffed me up? Please tell me that he hasn't. So, anyway, just before we do check that out, you can see that third down to twelfth goes into the preliminary round of this tournament. The second place team goes to the quarter final, and the first place team goes to the semi final. And so, what happens if someone wins it? They go to the Mexican League Champions Trophy. So, I can't click on that from there. So, that's not ideal. Let's go back. Let's go there. Opening stage. Nope. Actually, where did this team finish last season? Did they did they get anywhere? Nope. They lost to Pumas Tabasco in the preliminary round of the opening stage. And so I really am starting to think there's no relegation or no promotion. Please tell me. There isn't. There actually isn't. Oh. Okay. Ah. My agent has proper done me up there. Oh my gosh. Ay. Ay, 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 ay. Holy mamacita. Okay, uh, that is a shock. Okay, well, we're just going to have to keep winning the league until we can get another job. Yes, we might never be able to get promoted, but you never know. Do well enough over the next couple of seasons, win, the se win that second league enough times, and we might get a job in the top league. Who knows? And so, you know what, guys? I think on that bombshell... That is where we are going to leave it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look around the Mexican League and our new team of CD Tapateo in Mexico in the second league. Can't believe we're never going to be able to get promoted. That is shocking. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content. And also, by the way, if you didn't see my video the other day, thank you so much to anyone who's ever watched any of my stuff. We've just passed 700 subscribers. So thank you so, so much. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Unbelievable Streams podcast because I was their guest this week. And one of the hosts, JW90, I think is his username, he he did the agent voice in the intro. So, yep, thank you so much to him for doing that. And also as well, check out Passion for FM. I've not said that since I've been back on YouTube. I finally remembered. Check out Passion for FM. I am still part of their content team. Check them out. So, yeah, a lot for you to check out. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming and I shall see you next time. Bye.